Pacers hosting the Bucks game four, and the Pacers are nine and a half point favorites. The over under is at 216 and a half. The Bucks are plus 320 on the money line, and the Pacers are minus 405. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to tip off tomorrow, or if Lillard does play in this game, it'll also affect the odds. Now, the over under has fallen a little bit, and the money line for the Pacers, but for both teams, is actually fallen. Now, as far as the lineups for tomorrow's game, it's supposed to be Beverly, Beasley, Middleton, Portis, and Lopez, and then Halliburton, Nemhard, Nisma, Siakam, and Turner. Lineups have not been confirmed. That's just who's supposed to be there. The Pacers are up 2-1. to one. The Bucks won the first one, 109-94, and then the Pacers won the next two, 125-108, and then 121-118 in overtime. Head-to-head, -head, the Pacers are on a two-game winning streak. They are 7-3 and three against the Bucks in their last 10. The home team is 5-5. Five and five. The underdog has covered the last five games they've played against each other. The underdog is 8-2 and two against the spread. The underdog is 7-3 and three on the money line. The over is hitting their last two. The over is 7-3, and three, and the over 217 is 9-1. and one. Two out of the three games that they played against each other went over, but without Giannis and without Lillard, that's like 50 points not being, not exaggerating that the Bucks are going to be losing. So the question isn't how many points are the Bucks going to score, it's how many points are the Pacers going to score before they pull their starters. I'm going to take the Pacers with the money line. I'll take the Pacers laying the points. I will go over. I do think that this is a little bit low. I can see the Pacers winning by 20 and this game still being like a 120-100 kind of game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly. And this pick is also being made without Lillard playing. If Lillard does play, I still don't think the, the Bucks win, but I don't think they lose by 10.